because it's part two of, of, of a teapot. So today we're going to put it together. Yesterday we threw the three parts and this is what we got. The spout, the, oh well, I pulled this handle earlier. And then the lid, which I trimmed. And I went ahead and trimmed the um, foot on the pot. And now we got to put it together. And um, I'm just going to get started. So. Um, first thing I'm going to put on right now is, since I've already got the lid um, ready to go, well, let's start with the lid. There is one more thing I need to add. Um, on this teapot, it's already here. It is a small, tiny little hole. And I need to take my hole maker, which I love this one, and make a tiny little hole in here. The reason is not to let out steam, although it does let out a little bit of steam, but it is this reason. So when you have a container of liquid, when it comes out, it glugs, bonk, bonk, and it creates this glugginess. When you have a hole, it just flows very easily out because you have the air is able to enter this area. So that's what the, um, the hole in the lid does. It helps it not glug while hot water is pouring out. So um, I went ahead and put that little hole in for this one, if you can see it. I'll clean it up just a little bit, but that's just enough, just a big enough hole. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put the spout on. So, um, I take the spout and I go up, someone kind of smashed it this morning, but that's okay. Um, a lot of it doesn't, it's sort of like a handle, not all of it gets used, but you need your wire cutter. You bring it up to the edge and I don't want to see spouts that look like this, just stick straight out. Teapots have a little bit of an angle to them. So this is how you cut it. Let me show you. So you go like this. You take your wire cutter and you have a high area at the back and then downward you cut. And that gives you your angle that you want. Okay. Um, there'll be one more cut that I do and I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Sometimes it's a little bit big on the inside so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of openness. I don't really like all this extra right here. Another thing about a teapot is this is going to be where the water starts pouring out. If it is lower than the highest point right here, um, you won't be able to fill it all the way up. So you need to have this pointing upward and above this edge right here. So, all right, I have some slip here saved it from when I was throwing. And what I like to do is put my slip on here, get it wet. Okay. And then you can pick an ugly part of your pot. That part is going to change. But um I'm just setting it up to the pot, touching it, and then I'm pulling away. Now, where you see in the middle where there's no um, wet clay, that's the part that we're gonna make our holes. So, if you can see inside this one, this is a proper tea, um, teapot that has the holes for loose tea. Now most of us don't make 
the super proper kind of tea. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make those little holes. And the tea is strained. So you can see where it's wet. I'm going to make one hole in the middle of this. And this thing pushes. I love this one. The farther you push in, the bigger the hole becomes. There are other types of hole makers that literally um, have, it's really hard to take it. They're more like a straw, but this one just comes right off. Now, my teapot's a little bit dry, but it'll work. can make as maybe you only can get four in maybe you want to make the whole thing a hole one big hole um, I'm gonna try and fit in six really quite dry those of you who have problems with holes <laughs> I don't know you may have a problem with this pot all right so it's nothing fancy I'm trying to go fast so you guys don't get bored you know but a little bit more slip I said I don't want you guys to be bored so I'm not gonna sit here and work this all but what I am gonna show you is how to make the second cut on the teapot there is a cut actually right up here so again you can use your wire cutter or I have a nice little knife that I like but I don't have it with me so I'm holding behind I hope thing sort of acts like a knife now there are some I'm gonna fix this off camera but um, another thing about teapots that make them good is when you pour a teapot and you stop pouring the end of the pot should cut the water if it keeps pouring and then it dribbles down the pot, like this one is about to, um, then, then it's not quite as good as it should be. Some people will actually put butter underneath and that repels um, just to make sure it's a really good pot. Okay, so there's that. I'm not sure I like it. I may cut it a little bit more. And then different kinds of handles. So this is a pull handle that I did a little bit earlier. Um, not sure I really like it. I kind of let it dry too much, but I could put that one here, something like that. Okay. Um, there are also what sometimes get referred to as like an Asian teapot handle. Um, those ones, I'm ruining this handle to show you another type of handle. Um, we do what we call lug handles in the front and the back. So they're kind of sitting here. And then another one in the back, like that. Okay, usually these are coils and not so flat. And then there's this bamboo piece 
that you can put in between them and have a bamboo handle. But the bamboo handle has a metal part and it has to be able to hook to the ceramic part of it. So that's kind of it, I think. We have our lid, our handle of whatever type of handle you're going to be putting on. Just FYI, the handles are $5. Um, I can show you one in just a second if you hang on. And um, then you could like make a handle. Now a reminder, you do not have to throw your pot. You can make it with slabs, you can make it out of coils. You do need a bit of a theme. I don't have too much of a theme except swirling going on here. I don't want you to paint your theme on. So anyways, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. It's our last project of the year, so do your best job. Depression, okay. Okay, so these are the Japanese handles. I just unwrapped it and it has this little bit of um, string on it to keep it tight so it doesn't open up because it naturally wants to. And this is the part it bends and it fits under that part that is up here. And so you get this handle looking thing, something like that. There you go. Okay. So